And the whole idea was to build this car, drive it on the street, maybe go to Bonneville and go 200 with it. Well, that was a dream never achieved. But now that I've got the car back in my possession, those little wheels inside my head are going kind of crazy. We're going back to the salt. I'm going to drive it there and I'm going to go 200. 200. 200. And that's really what makes cars. You have this attachment to it for whatever reason. It's not just the car, it's the memories and the people that are associated with it. Okay, let me go back 18 years, if you can believe it's been that long. Since we first built the car, and then it disappeared and it's back. It's been almost three years now that I've had the car back in my possession and took it from being a television, looks good from afar, but far from good. So it had a nice shiny paint job on it, but if you got up close, it was pretty rough. So got her standing tall now, running. It's beautiful and it's a lot of fun. And uh, again, I had talked about making it street legal. So I really wanted to take and complete that. But do I want to take it on the salt just yet? And that's still on the table. Uh, but at this point, I'm just looking forward to taking it out and going to the different, like the quarantine crews and hanging out with everybody, all my buddies that got their cars. And you know, we can get together on a weekend and go down the beach and hit PCH. And I've got this 200 mile an hour, bright orange, you know, 68 Dodge Charger. So I'm looking forward to that first, and then we'll see how I feel. If I get antsy, if I start getting nervous, then I'll put it back on the dirt and take it to the salt. So the whole process of bringing this car back to life again, I'm not really in any kind of mad rush. I'm not trying to make any show date or any race date. It's kind of an exercise of an idea, and I just like having fun with details, and uh, if I see something or have an idea, I kind of like to pursue it, and it's just kind of, even though we build cars all day long, and you know, our whole crew does that, it's different when it's just mine, and it's at night, or on a weekend, and the doors are locked, and I get to just play with these different parts and pieces, and you know, there's that old saying, the devil's in the details. Well, it truly is, and, Again, I'm not looking for any accolades, but just to simply do it for my own peace of mind. So there's a lot of details on the car that I, I just had fun with. I mean, even down to the rocker shafts underneath the valve covers that no one will ever see, but I know they're there and it just makes me smile. Putting this car back together for myself I kind of rediscovered and I found myself, I know that sounds stupid, but I got really excited again to go home at night and tell my wife, Nikki, about all this stuff and she has no idea what I'm talking about. But she knows I'm happy about it and I tell her about how many cubic inches and the this and the that and the profile and I geek out and I just stare off and never, never land. But uh, yeah, the whole process has really, um, it's, it's brought me back, it's really reinvigorated me. Any of these projects, you're always going to come across something. You're going to come across some trivial mechanical issues. Something doesn't fit. You got to modify. And quite honestly, it's so commonplace in every day. It doesn't really doesn't even raise an eyebrow. But there was something very special about this car. Is that a lot of it I forgot about. It was 18 years ago, and the people that worked on this car, the crew, the team we had. You know, they're gone now, man. A lot of it, there were certain parts, just work on the car brought back memories, which I had totally forgotten about. You know, about Pete Chaporis, Dick Landy, Captain Billy Hodges. I mean, things I just totally forgot about. And I kind of got to relive that. And that's really what makes cars very special to not only myself, but everybody. 
you have this attachment to it for whatever reason. It's not just the car, it's the memories and the people that are associated with it. So it's a, it was a really great experience and I'm glad it all came back.